The Plateau State government has closed all markets in the state and suspended its state civil service as part of efforts to contain the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. The state governor, Simon Lalong, during a state broadcast in just the Plateau State capital, said its weekly state executive council meeting remained suspended and warned persons and groups flouting the order of the state on social distancing to retrace their steps or, or face severe consequences. Arising from an emergency meeting of the state executive council, Further measures have, take, have, have been taken with effect from Wednesday, the 25th of March 2020. All public servants in Plateau State from grade levels 12 and below are to work from home for the next 30 days. Only workers offering essential services such as security, health, media, street cleaners, and water supply and energy are exempted from this directive. In view of the crowds associated with markets, government is directing all markets to close effective 25th March 2020. Only traders selling food items, pharmaceuticals and cooking gas are to remain open. In addition, all street trading, street hawking and begging are prohibited. The weekly Sunday markets at Amadubello Way, Bukuru and Environs are hereby banned. Social joints, nightclubs, drinking parlors are to also close effective Wednesday, 25th March 2020. While restaurants are advised to prepare takeaway for their customers to avoid overcrowding. Motor parks are to, are to capture and keep data, including contacts of all inbound and outbound passengers, as well as adhere strictly to social distancing and mass gathering prohibition order, as well as hygiene regulations. Henceforth, all entry points into Plateau State by land and air will be subjected to pre preliminary tests. The weekly state executive council meetings are hereby suspended indefinitely. However, council will continue to console and meet through digital means. I have directed security agencies to begin enforce enforcement, and anyone found violating these orders should be arrested. Should the situation continue this way, we shall not hesitate to impose a complete lockdown in order to save the lives of our people. To ensure compliance, government has set up a task force on enforcement and monitoring, which will be personally chaired by me to coordinate, evaluate, and review developments on the disease in the state.